Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that has been so highly requested by you guys. A little while ago I did a jewellery collection and I asked in that video if you'd like to see a body jewellery collection. So basically all my septum rings, all of my other ear jewellery, tongue bars, etc. You guys were really keen for it and ever since I've never heard the end of it. So here I am delivering that video that I promised. So yeah, pretty much I'm just going to be going through all of my different body jewellery. I'm leaving out what's in these bags because this is just like either duplicates of what I've already got out or they're just really random little pieces that don't really feel like they need to be included. I'm just going to share with you the main bulk of my body jewellery. I'll start with what I've actually got already in my piercings and then I will be sharing with you what is on the desk in front of me. So this is my left ear of piercings. So I just have a plain silver metal labre bar in my flat piercing which I think is eight millimeter in length. For my day I just have a little hinged hoop. I think the diameter of that one is eight millimeters as well. This is one of my dad's old earrings. Um, if you didn't know, my dad passed away. So this is like a nice little part of him that I like to wear. I switch up this earring quite a lot. I've got a few different options of what I like to wear in that one. And then in my first, obviously I just wear literally whatever I feel like at the time. Today I have these cute little pressed flower earrings from Depop. In my right ear, I have a plain silver metal curved barbell in my rook piercing, another plain silver labre bar in my helix, plain bars here again in my thirds and seconds, and then again obviously just whatever I want to wear in my first. So for that jewellery, apart from the um, earring that was my dad's and these ones, all of the rest of the jewellery came from eBay. For the jewellery on my face, I've got this little blue opal nose studding currently. This is from Pierced and Proper, you can find them on Instagram and on their website. Just a plain little silver hinged hoop in my septum, so this is again eBay. And then a plain silver tongue bar, which again you can find on eBay. So yeah. I think to show you the other jewellery that I've got, I'll flip the camera around and just hold them up one by one and show them and tell you where they came from if I can remember the shop. Okay, so starting out with tongue bars, the first tongue bar that I have is this one which just says dyke on it. If you did not already know or guess, I'm a lesbian. In terms of tongue bars, I pretty much just stick to the plain ones most of the time, but if I wanted to spice it up a bit, I do love this tongue bar. I think it's really funny. So this one came from eBay. My hands are going to look so gross in these clips. The next tongue bar I have is this pill one it is black and red I've never worn this um, I've had it for about four months literally never got any use out of it so far I will probably use it at some point but this one came from a shop local to me called in gear um, if you're around Tunbridge Wells area they do do body jewelry in there the next one I have got is this little cross one again I don't think I've worn this I think it's because I couldn't get the ball off of it it is literally on so tight but this one came from eBay again this next one is literally just random balls on a bar. If I wanted to wear one of these, then I'd just put it on the bar I'm already wearing in my tongue. So you just have a little smiley face, which has also got some blue around it. And the other end is a little rainbow ball. I actually really like this one. I have worn this quite a lot. Again, both of these balls came from In Gear and Tunbridge Wells. I then just have a plain blue acrylic bar. I bought this before because I was worried about chipping my teeth with metal and then I just kind of bit the bullet and decided to wear the metal ones instead because I did prefer how they looked. But if I ever wanted to give my teeth a break, then these ones are better for them obviously they're softer they literally bend this one i need to wear more good old lesbian flag tongue bar this one i got from body candy i think i then have this little skeleton tongue bar this one again was from ebay and the final one i have is this marijuana leaf one which again i have had wear out of but i don't wear it that often this one again was from ebay moving on to septum rings there is a lot more of these so first of all i have a few of your average plain silver horseshoes again you can get them from ebay probably amazon i then have one of these little crystal horseshoes again got this from ebay i absolutely loved this around march last year i then have a little blue horseshoe which again was from ebay a gold horseshoe rainbow horseshoe a big silver horseshoe um, I often get questions on how big my average size horseshoes are that I wear all the time in my septum. Those ones are 10mm. I don't know what size this is, but it's, I think, the next size up from 10mm. I also have this little blue opal horseshoe, which I think was from Vault 100 Limited or something, or Vault Limited 100. I will put the name of the brand on the screen. Got gifted this in a brand deal a while ago. Absolutely love it. Then moving on to your spiky horseshoes. Again, these are 10mm. You can get them from eBay. So I've got one in silver, one in black, one in rainbow. Oh my god, my luck. I literally just dropped one of the spikes off of this one, but it's a silver spiky horseshoe with bigger spikes on. I think the spikes on the average ones I get are three millimeter, and this one's got a four millimeter spike on, and should have another one, but I just dropped it. And then another one with four millimeter spikes. These ones are red, which look like little devil horns. Again, absolutely love this. I think the one with red spikes was from Piercing Mania. I then have a little captive bead ring. This was again from eBay, and then I just 
have a little gold hinged hoop and a rainbow hinged hoop. Onto the slightly more interesting septum hoops, I have this little gold boho septum ring. This one was from eBay again. I have this silver chain septum hoop. This is one of the first septum hoops I bought. I absolutely love it. I do not remember where it was from, but if you just search chain septum hoop, it should come up online. I have this little blue opal septum clicker, which matches the blue opal nose stud I'm wearing right now. Again, this is from Pierced and Proper. A little clear crystal clicker. This one's from Ingear again, but you can find similar ones online. And this one, which I got so many questions on before. This used to be my favorite septum hoop of all time. It's got these little rainbow beads on and it's a gay pride septum hoop. This one was from Body Candy. Another piece of jewelry I have from Body Candy is this little curved barbell. It is again gay pride. Um, I think I bought this for my rook, but I've never worn it anywhere. I definitely should do. A couple of studs I sometimes wear on my second lobe piercing on my left ear, where I'm currently wearing my dad's earring. I sometimes wear this little snake one. Again, I can't remember where this is from, but you can find similar ones everywhere. I also like to wear this little star constellation earring. Again, no idea where it's from, but you can probably Google it. I also have a few of these little clear crystal labrays. You can again get them from eBay. And I have this little crystal cluster, which I don't really wear that much anymore because I think the screw on it isn't very tight anymore. It doesn't really tighten into the bars. But I used to wear this in my flat and I got it from Etsy somewhere. You can find these kind of earrings everywhere. And finally, onto my nose studs. This technically isn't a nose stud, but this is the nose hoop that I often wear. Again, just got this from eBay. I then have a little plain metal stud from eBay again. Clear crystal nose stud, again from eBay. There's a reoccurring pattern of eBay here. This little blue crystal nose stud, which I literally don't know where this is from. And finally, a little Playboy nose stud. This one I think came from Piercing Mania. So yeah, that is pretty much all of my body jewellery. As I said, I do have some like spares and stuff, which I didn't include, but this is the main bulk of it. These are the main pieces of jewellery that I wear and that I get asked about by you guys. So yeah, I know this video has been very awaited on. I hope it didn't disappoint. I'm trying to get more ideas of what to record at the moment. And to be honest, I'm really slacking in the YouTube area because I am so busy with my GCSEs, especially now the exams are cancelled and it's got a lot more complex. But yeah, if I'm very inconsistent with uploading at the moment, then that is why I'm very sorry. I'll do my best to get more uploads in for you guys as soon as I can but until then thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time Mwah. goodbye